In this video, we are going to create the PHP script for new user registration. In the previous video, we already created the PHP script for established connection to the database. So first here, I'm going to make the file save us. And I save it inside the login app folder with the file name register.php. Now there is no need of these statements. I remove all these statements. So first we have to get information like name, email and password from the Android application. So I create a variable called name and get the data from Android app using HTTP POST method with identifier name. Now get the second information. Second one is email. So I copy this statement and paste it here. And the second variable is email. And here the identifier name is email. Now the third variable is password. So change this one into password. Okay, pass. Now change the identifier into password. So first we have to establish connection to the database. So we need the init.php file here. So require it, require, require init.php. This will establish connection to the database. So before going to add information like name, email and password to the database, we have to check whether the user already exists or not. So for that here I am going to create some query. So create a variable called query. So select start from user info. Select start from user info. Table name is user info. Where email like, where email like and the email available available on this variable called email so variable email and don't forget to put a semicolon here and end this statement with a semicolon okay now we have to execute this query so here I declare another variable a result now call the function called the mysqli query First you have to pass the connection. So the connection is already available on this file called init.php on variable con and second one is query. So now we have to check whether there is some result available or not. So if the result available that means user already exists. So we have to call the php function called mysqli number of rows. We have to check that condition if number of rows of result is greater than zero is greater than zero that means the user already exists there is no need to register the new user so in that case we have to make some server response so here I create a variable called response and make it an array make that one as an array now create some variable called the code and with the value reg false registration failed so I make the value for code into reg false now create some variable called message and this is the server response user already exist user already exist now we have to pass this code and message to the Android app in the form of a JSON array JSON object so first we have to create an associative array that means an array with name value pair so we have to call a function called array sorry array push first specify the target variable name here the target array is response response now specify the name value pair and call the function called array now specify the name value pair first to First name is code and value is variable code. Now the second name is message, message, and corresponding value is available on this variable called the message. So variable message. Message. Okay, there is no need of this two dollar symbol. Only one. Okay. Now put the semicolon here. Okay, so here this statement creates some name value pair. Now we have to create the JSON, we have to encode the JSON. So echo 
JSON encode specify the so create call the function called array now specify the JSON array name server response this is the JSON array name now specify the target value that is the associative array response okay otherwise that means user not exist in that case we have to put information into the database so else we have to create the query for insert information to the database so I use the same variable here query and specify the query insert into user info insert into user info values user info now values specify the values put a single quotes now specify the value here the value available on this variable called a name now the second data is email that is also a string so put a single quote and specify the variable email and the third value is password don't forget to put the comma now the last two variable is password last two value is password available on this variable called pass now close the bracket and close the statement with a semicolon okay so now we have to execute the query so I copy that statement and paste it here this will execute the query now we have to check whether the insertion is success or not so we have to check some condition if not variable result in that case insertion fails so in that case we have to create the response server response so I copy all these statements and paste it here so here I change the message into some server error occur some server error occur occurred okay no need no need to change the code and try again no need to change the available code that is also registration false okay so now we again we send the response in the form of a JSON data otherwise that means if the registration success that means successfully insert data in that case so I copy all these statements again we have to make the server response for registration success so here first we have to change the code into reg true registration is success and change the server message into registration success registration success thank you okay and finally we can close the database connection so we can call the function called mysqli mysqli close and pass the connection variable con okay now we finish the coding for registration okay so in the very next episode we are going to create the PHP script for login